Hey, what's going on everybody? This may not be an issue for anybody else, but I found this just a little bit complicated or confusing when I started it. Um, and I just thought somebody else might have this exact same problem. So on uh, the rolling cloud, which I really love, um, I just recently went from ultimate to pro, uh, because I just realized I didn't need all of the instruments, even though they all sound great. But one thing that I didn't realize was how to work the pro access selector. And there's not really a huge amount of documentation on it. So if you look at this here, there's the core pro ultimate, obviously, but then with core, you don't get any of the legendary instruments, but then there's this little O with the asterisk here for the pro um, uh, offering. And it lets you activate two instruments with the pro access selector. And then ultimate is like that. Now, one thing that you will need to do is make sure that you have the latest version of the rolling cloud um, program. And it'll normally just, you know, you can either download the latest version here or up in this right hand corner, a lot of times it will say, oh, new software available, and that'll be the rolling cloud. Um, but this is how mine started, and it doesn't look like you there's any sort of pro access, there's nothing called pro access selector or anything like that here. Um, and it's funny, I can't actually duplicate this, but initially when I typed in one of my favorites since the, the, the um, JV1080, it didn't show up. I was searching it and it was not showing up. All it was showing up was the the um, the expansion packs. That was the only thing that was showing. So the best thing to do is to go, or one of the best things to do is to go to um, disabled up here under in the library. Just go to disabled. That will then show you all of the potential instruments. These are all the legendary ones show you all the potential instruments that if you wanted to, you could turn on pro access and then all you have to do to turn, I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to assign one, but um, all you have to do is just click pro access on one. I mean, I can do it, I guess does that. Um, so, and obviously you can turn them on and off as you see fit, which is actually a really, really great way to be able to, you know, test things out, which is cool. So right now I have this under disabled, I think. Yeah. So now if I go to enabled, it'll show these, but this is what they're talking about when they're talking about the rolling cloud. Uh, sorry, excuse me. The, um, the pro access selector, that's what they're talking about. So then you could just come in, you install it, turn it on. Okay. I'm done with this project or I want to try something new, uninstall it. You actually can keep it installed, but just turn them on and off as you see fit. Um, it's a really amazing way of allowing you to be able to test lots of different things um, and then say there might be one that it's that works great for one project and one that doesn't work you know for another project so you can sort of mix and match as you need to do it uh, so really awesome way to do it and great way to save ten dollars so yeah really quick video might not be something anybody even cares about but like i said i was sitting around here going i don't know where the pro access selector is i don't know what they're talking about it's, it's all in the way that you sort the instruments so thank you so much for watching uh let me know if you have any questions in the comments take care